that's going to be your main focus um, to create a seamless experience from high level to chat issue. And even when that API is ready, also embedding chat issue right within high level so that you can have a message floating window that you can take with you anywhere you go in high level um, and retain that conversation scope. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the High Level Spotlight Sessions, where we showcase awesome marketers doing awesome marketing. Today, I'm joined by Sergio Leon, who is a longtime High Level user, one of our top members of our dev community. Um, it's great to have him on the show. He's been such a big part of the community. Sergio, thanks for coming on. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Today, Sergio is representing Chat HQ, which is a new... Um, product that he's been working on for a long time. It looks really impressive. And I think the high level community is going to be pretty excited about it. Um, Sergio, where do we start? I mean, this is, uh, it does a lot. And so I think we're going to yeah. talk about a bunch of things, but first take us back. You, you have an agency of your own, right? You've been yes. using high level for a long time. Um, how did the idea come about? Well, we, Moved to using high level for a lot of things, not only marketing agency, but also we have a manufacturing business that we moved away from Monday.com and, and a bunch of other platforms to high level. Um, and also coming back from, from corporate America and building SaaS and, and, and seeing communication and broken communication at that, um, we, we started seeing agencies using uh, Slack and using Facebook Messenger uh, for internal communication and for ticketing and for support to their customers. So we said, you know, there, there has to be a, a better way here. Um, so we found a base system and built on top of it. Um, and that's where Chat HQ came from, right? So uh, mm. we, we looked to improve and replace and improve on processes that um, create friction today within a team and uh, with uh, users. So we believe that we bring that to the table today. So it's got a ton of features and I know you have a ton of new features coming down the line. We're going to talk about two of them today that I think mm -hmm. are most relevant for the community. The, the first is when you, when you start using high level with your clients, you're creating sub accounts, right? Especially yeah. if you're going to go into SaaS mode and you're, and you're going to push high level as your own SaaS, um, you're going to have to support them. And so mm -hmm. the question becomes, okay, what, how are we going to support our clients? What channel do we want them to reach out to us through? And mm -hmm. so you can go get some sort of help desk software and then drop it into high level. And that might solve the need. You're going to pay a price for that. But then you also have this challenge of, okay, Whoever is on my side receiving the request may not know the answer. So I need to communicate sideways within my team about this. Um, and so that's now we're talking about the world of like Slack and, and things like that. And so, mm -hmm. so talk to me about how this sort of replaces both of those to solve this goal of communicating with my clients. So what we support is whatever you would expect from a strong team communication tool, um, private channels, public channels, uh, we support um, discussion channels or break break, breakout channels, um, but also uh, a widget that you can have work as the way that your customers uh, send you support requests. We're building integrations that are going to go directly to your high level, um, but also you're going to have a uh, persistent community com conversation. So whether within your team or with your customers. What we've seen uh, in many agencies using high level is they would go out and create a Facebook group. And that communication would live inside that Facebook group and you would inevitably run into issues. First, there's no, there's no topic. You can't have a Facebook group that has channels per topic or uh, some conversation be private and some be public for everybody. Uh, so we solve for that very elegantly with public and private channels. Um, but also, if you want to have different tiers of support that you give your customers, then you now need to create multiple Facebook groups. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you need multiple tools to automate capturing information from those Facebook groups 
to your CRM pipeline in, in high level. Um, all of that goes away. All of that will now live within one single platform that works across Mac, Windows. It's a web thing that you embed directly into high level and information flows from it to high level according to the mappings that you wanna do. And from high level, it can also flow back. Um, so, you know, one of the integrations cool. that we are very fond of is whenever you grant someone access to a membership offer, then you could automatically add them to a private channel where all of the members in that membership offer or product are, and then okay, this, they can discuss in there and you can give them further support or communication within there, or um, also post um, files, share files with them. Um, so in a way it enriches that membership process. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, that's definitely bringing sort of a community aspect to <laughs> high level memberships, which is interesting. And you mentioned files. So there, is there like, you could sort of pin a file within that group or something like that, that everybody can access? Yes. So we support embedding files from something like Dropbox or Google uh, Drive. Uh, but we also support just sending the file in the chat and we'll store it. Mm. And then the file will be accessible to anyone in the chat. Um, and we also support voice messages and video messages. So if you're using our web interface uh, or you're using our mobile app, you can shoot a video message and post it to the message, so to, to the channel. So, hey, welcome, let's welcome our members, um, uh, shout them out and build community around that. Or, uh, you know, ping a, a um, I'm sorry, post a, a Loom chat um, a message right there in the chat and you get a, a video um, window to play it. So things like that. Uh, that's cool. I mean, it, it always has driven me nuts that you can't just do a voice recording inside of Slack and send it as a voice memo. Yes. <laughs> like what? I don't get it. But um, anyway, so the first example that I wanted to point out, which I think is awesome, is in addition to the things that you just talked about, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm an agency. I focus on dentists, as always. Mm -hmm. Uh, I sign up Dr. Bob, who's a sub account. He's got a question. He opens up a chat. The chat comes to me. I don't know the answer. So I'm like, oh, Sergio, I can basically tag you, toggle into private. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You and I can chat back and forth about the answer. And then I click yes. back to public and I answer Dr. Bob. And so yes. to me, this is the best of ticketing because that's, I think, the most powerful thing about ticketing with a, with a team is to being able to internally communicate and then go back with the response. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really clever. I think you, you basically combined the powers of Slack and, and a ticketing software within a more natural sort of chat bar. Yes. Um, and that is a use case that we've seen very often, um, even in other communication tools. Um, and another one that we bring that really enriches this is you can now not only have one support agent be in a chat with a user or a client of yours, you can also have a group chat with different people across different parts of your business. And each of them can come in, help the customer in a certain way, and then live that chat and retain the access to that communication for later on and follow up. So you would be creating hubs with a specific client around multiple topics. Uh, and that keeps that conversation scoped and long lived. Very cool. Yeah. So the other thing I'm really excited for is uh, both on our side and your side is um, high level coming out with single sign on. So once we release that, then you are going to bake that in, right? So that yes. your high level customers will be able to just be signed into this chat without having to create a new account or a new password or anything like that. Correct. Yes, and I do apologize if That's I'm very cool. a little bit insisting on on the single sign-on API, but yes, <laughs> that does are, that is our number one plan. Um, as soon as that API is ready, even if we get you know to test drive it, that's going to be your main focus um, to create a seamless experience from high level to chat issue, and even when that API is ready, also embedding chat issue right within high level so that you can have a message floating window that you can take with you anywhere you go in high level 
um, and retain that conversation scope. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. Super. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be really cool. So tell me about where you're at. Um, so I, so chathq.io is the domain if you're watching Correct. and you're interested. Are you guys in beta? Are you taking customers right now? Where, what, what should people expect when they head over there? That's really, really a good question. We have had a few agencies beta testing the platform with their own dedicated service um, for a few weeks now. We've used it for way longer internally. Um, so just today we announced our public pricing. We're gonna be launching within two weeks general availability and what we're doing for high level communities that want to sign up for early access today is uh, we've included up to a 35 percent discount depending on what features you you would use um, you can find what those features are what our roadmap is going to be for other features that we're adding later on and what the pricing and the discounts are at chathq.io if you go to to the page there um, you're going to see all of this and you're also going to see something that we haven't talked about, but it's really exciting for us is we're also letting high level agencies resell the platform. So to their agents, um, and I'm not, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because it's a, it's a, um, it's a deep subject, but, uh, you're going to find a reseller section in chathq.io, uh, that's going to tell you what it is, what you get and how it can become a stream of revenue for your agency. And from there, from there on, contact us and we'll be happy to take your call. Very cool. Well, before we go, do you want to show us a peek? Do you want to do a quick screen share and show us yes, what it looks sir. like? Yes, sir. Let me make sure that I am on the right server. Uh, chat HQ. Uh-huh. Okay. So... What I'm gonna show you right now is our public community server that we're gonna be bringing beta testers and people interested into. And I'm gonna share my screen, desktop one. Right, so this is what ChatHQ looks like when you look at it from a standalone point of view. So you have private channels, you have public channels, you have direct communication, um, and you have an omni-channel feature. Uh, that we'll get into detail later. Um, but I also want to show you on Andrew's, my partner Andrew's um, agency account, how it looks like. And let me make sure that I'm not showing things that I shouldn't. <laughs> let me make sure. Yeah. Um, okay. So chat HQ. And we currently map it onto a custom tab to your high level. So if you look at it, it's the exact same experience that you get and you have direct communication, you have team, you have a channel for cool. beta users, for example. Um, and this is where single sign-on really comes in handy, right? So I log into high level, I go to my mm -hmm. team, my chat HQ or team chat or whatever you want to call it, community tab, uh, and I'm logged in automatically. So it's a little test drive. I know we're, we're, we're pushed on time and I don't want to give out too much. Definitely go to chathq.io and mm, Comcast. <laughs> and you're going to see, you know, pricing features. There's a lot there. Um, awesome. Yeah. Cool. So if you're watching, if, you, if you've been looking for an internal communication um, solution, uh, this sounds like a good one. You'll be in good hands with Sergio. Sounds like he's also got, um, what was it? Up to like 35% off for the early yep. early birds. Yes. Yes. Cool. So head on over to the chat, hq.io, and uh, let us know how, I mean, obviously Sergio is going to keep us up to speed with the, <laughs> uh, the, the new releases as they unfold. So I'm sure he'll be back at some point to show us what's new. Uh, but Sergio, thanks again for coming on. Thank you. Um, as always, uh, thank you for the work that you do and, and helping us uh, stay connected as a community. And thank you for to High Level for the awesome platform. Awesome. And thank you guys for watching. We will see you in the next episode.